Пока слышишь меня. Слышишь меня? How are you copy? Station Moscow. Yes, we are ready to give you our measurement. Yes, we are ready to write it down. The MV pressure is 752. No change. Copy. Copy. So we will proceed further. Yes. Copy. And we are ready to go to 10.9.3 on page 82. Yes, you have our go. If you open KVD SU OB, wait a little bit over one minute, maybe one minute and ten seconds. I can repeat it. KVD SU OB. Copy. How copy? Yes, everything is fine. Everything is nominal here on our end. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. What's your pressure? Station Houston, I'm one for Swanee. We're going to defer the comp checks until after the hatch opening, so you're welcome to go to MRM, and then we'll do them from the SM after everyone's in and ready to start. Sounds good. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Uh, right now we're getting live views now inside of Mini Research Module 1, the Rosviet. That hatchway will soon be opened right on the other side. The three new Expedition 40 crew members, Max Sarayev, Reed Wiseman, and Alexander Gers, will be making their way in. And as pet, and, and you know, timer, because they said, like, wait, like, one minute, 15 seconds. Okay, back, as uh huh. Yes. Yes, I'm still timer. Uh-huh. Yes, the timer is here. I oh, started it. Okay. The Russian cosmonaut Alexander uh, Skortsov getting ready. You know what? We're gonna open this hatch, and I see. What do you want? Late, late. Expedition 40 Commander Steve Swanson joining Skortsov inside of Rosviet. Okay, fine, Max, I've sent this command. Okay. Okay, it's not lit. That's good. Station Moscow. Go ahead. 
you will need to deactivate the comm unit according to page 84, the lower block. We'll do that. Can you repeat that, please? You will need to perform one more step after that one. Yes, I understand. Okay, we can open the hatches. Yes, you can open the hatches. After OPL, you need to deactivate all COM units on the vehicle, page 84. Okay, I open the I'm opening the hatch. Page 84. So right now, Alexander Skortov working on the hatch inside of Rosviet. Zarayev, Wiseman, and Gers working on their hatch inside their Soyuz on the other side. Okay. Perform that step after OPL. Okay, copy. Okay, I'm opening the hatch. Do you need help? Got it. Skortov has the hatch inside of Rosviet open. Station Moscow, please perform the steps that I told you about. Yes, I'm here. Yes, the hatch is open. Copy. Copy. I open KVD. Valve. Uh, we check pressure according to the manovacometer. And now just, you can see the hatch of the Soyuz still closed, waiting for that to open. The hatch on Rosviet is open. The way set for the crew to... Do you have something to eat? <laughs> of course. Okay, we're still waiting for the pressure. Okay. Yeah, just don't block the video camera there. Okay. Station Moscow? Yes, go ahead. We are still equalizing the pressure. I understand. 
I have one more recommendation for you. After OPEL, after report, please perform conservation of the vehicle on page 85. Yes, we will do that. Number one. Try to move the camera closer. Yeah, zoom in. Okay, I'm ready to write down your recommendation. Before conservation, according to the orbital flight book, pages 85, 87. You need to perform P1 for P3. This step is on pages 33, 34. And then move to BO, number 18. Everything is ready. We are ready. We do not conserve the gas analyzer. Okay, I just want to make sure that I understood you correctly. So first we perform pages 85 to 87, then we perform pages 33 to 34, and then we move to BO and move gas masks to BO. Yes, that's a good copy. Copy, thank you. So what's the pressure? No, it, it's dropping. Getting a quick wave there from Oleg Artemiev. Uh, the three on board, Artemiev, Skortsov and Swanson continuing to stand by, waiting for that Soyuz TMA-13M hatch to open, which will allow Max Sarayev, Reed Wiseman and Alexander Gerst to enter their new home on board the International Space Station. Should be coming any moment. What was the initial pressure, Maxim? 800-something. It's dropping. And it must be stable during two minutes at least. So we're waiting for that. The current pressure is 7... 6-4. It's equalizing slowly. Yeah, the volume is big, so it's understandable. I love this. <laughs> so, is ASU operational on the Russian segment?
Uh, some sort. The pressure is 700. Some sort of 78. And 69. 68. 68. Yes, go ahead. Sofia, после открытия люка не забудьте блоки очистки в бытовом отсеке отключить. After you open the hatch, do not forget to deactivate the purging unit. Copy. Yes, we will deactivate them in bill. И одеть большую заглушку на патрон очистки. And put a huge cap on the uh, Virgin cartridge. Okay. Good. It's off new three. Okay. No, okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. What's up, dude? Sorry. So we're ready. What's the current station pressure for the MV? 755. Yes, we have the same pressure in the vehicle. Yes, it's the same pressure. Okay, let's double check it. Okay, let's spend one more minute double checking that. Okay. Yeah, it's stable. 755. Working to finish stabilizing or equalizing the pressure between uh, the station and the Soyuz craft. Should be just about done now. Should be ready to open the hatch. Okay, we close the cover the valve and open the cap. Page 83. Okay, let's try to do it. Okay, let's do it carefully. No, we don't need a special device. Okay. Okay, just wait. Yeah, I don't 
Подожди. Okay, wait. We need to use a special wrench. And rotate it 180 degrees. Genza Okay, let's do it once again. Are you opening the hatch? Yes. Yes. Look. See, it's moving. That's great. Awesome. And there it goes. The hatch opened at 10.52 p.m. Central Time. Wait, when you set up come. It's right of Wiseman and Gerst now able to enter into the International Space Station. Hi. Hi, good to see you. No problem. No, no. Let me take a picture. Hey back. Yes. I'm ready to perform page 84. Okay, fine. Okay, page 84 is complete. Yes. Yes, I've said that already. I've reported it to MCC. Yes. Okay, I've checked also backup units. Sub сказал да? Uh huh. Yes, MCCM said to perform that. Yes, the crew performs that. Okay, let's set up com. We deactivate com. We deactivate N1. N1 Negarit. N4 Negarit. N4 N4 N14. MKS Sub Moscow. Station Moscow. Yes, go ahead. We still have five minutes on KU Band. Maybe you'll be able to perform this step. We're trying to do our best now. You mean step number one? That's right. How long will LOS be? Moscow Station, yes, we copied that. Okay, try to do your best. We can do anything now. Then we'll have a huge break. But in five minutes we won't be able to finish that. Okay. And so, so we're able to get a little bit of video now. So again, the hatch is open, waiting to get uh, Sarayev, Wiseman, and Gerst all uh, out. Here you can see NASA astronaut Reed Wiseman peeking out of the Soyuz craft, entering into the International Space Station. Be 
Again, this is Reed Wiseman's first flight, so probably taking a few moments to get uh, used to microgravity. Hello, good to see you. Now Max Sarayev making his way out. And this is Sarayev's second flight. Having previously served aboard uh, during Expeditions 21-22. Sergey, okay, we all move to the service module now. Okay, concur. Okay, the crew is already on the station. How copy? Houston Station on one. Go ahead, Swanee. Are you ready for the uh, sound check? Stand by just one. And Swanee, we are now um, without KU. It sounds like we're going to press with audio only in the event, so we don't need to do the comm check at this point. Copy. Audio only. This time, do when do we pick up KU again? Checking. Swanee should be about 25 minutes from now. Okay, copy that. Let us know if uh, we get it. We're still going. If we can uh, go ahead and get video too, that would be nice. We sure will. Thanks. The information for the crew from MCCM, even though we don't have video. Now we still can hear each other. Uh, Moscow Station on Space to Ground 1. Did you call us? Yes, we did. I just wanted to say that we can hear each other even though we don't have video. We're currently in the service module of the Russian segment and we're setting up everything here. So 
I do want us just talk. Yes, please report what's happening. Okay. Okay, as soon as we're ready, we will let you know. So getting a couple of uh, sporadic views inside uh, of the International Space Station. You can see them setting up inside of the Russian service module here. Yes, we see the video. We can see the video. That's great. Please continue recording. Okay, copy. No more. I think we're ready for the event. Copy station, Baikonur, this is Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is Rob Navius with your family and friends in Baikonur. How do you hear me? Rob, I have you loud and clear. Hello. Hello. Maxim Alexander Reed. Maxim Alexander Reed. On behalf of the Roscosmos, I would like to congratulate you on your successful arrival to the International Space Station. How do you feel? Great, we feel great. That's wonderful. I would like to wish you and the rest crew members good health, successful work on board the station, and to perform all the tasks that are assigned to you. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the congratulations and for the wishes. Thank you very much uh, that you are still there and you are waiting for the hatch opening. We feel really good. We are ready to start working already and to perform all the tasks that we have. Uh, Jean-Jacques Dordain speaking. So, welcome to all of you. It's great to see you. Just a few hours, uh, we left you on the launch pad. And Willkommen, uh, Alexander. And uh, I shall take uh, back your smile to all his colleagues. And enjoy your uh, stay on board the station. And see you soon.
thank you for the congratulations. I was just going to suggest, uh, yeah, please forward my best regards and the smiles to all of ESA and uh, all the international partners. This was a great journey here.